we're going to go through the massage uh, one by one. But before we go, uh, this one is a very important part in the morning when you wake up. So we started to touch and smile down to the navel. Okay? When you wake up in the morning, you are not open your eyes yet, you just touch your navel and smile to your navel. Smile to your heart and make your heart feel soft. Smile down to your navel and feel your finger grow very long, extended to the back, to the door of life, to the behind the navel, between the lumbar two and three. We call the door of life. Smile, relax until you feel warm. It's also very good to do a few sounds to release the negative and sick energy. You, we start with, we call triple one more sound. So we inhale, raise your hand up to the head, and we put the leg down first, and we're going to do the he sound. Feel the upper warmer. Overheat in the head and heart down to the middle warmer and down to the low warmer, more on the cold area, the sexual organ and the kidney. And let it push all the cold and sick energy out of the toes and the tip of the finger. Just rest for a while, palm facing down and feel the sick energy going down to the ground. Again, inhale, raise your hand up, and exhale. Feel the upper warmer pushing down to the middle warmer, down to the low warmer, the more colder region. And the sick energy, thou discover that it can very easy out of the tip of the finger. Tip of the toes and tip of the finger. When you, and you feel your palm, your soul, and your body exchanges with the good energy from the earth. When you can release the negative and sick energy, the Mother Earth and the Heavenly Father, the primordial force will start to come into us. Can okay, inhale. And exhale. Resting period is very important. So this triple warmer very good get rid of the sick energy and you see them out in your toes at a cloudy and gray color. Now we're going to come up to the heart. So you move your hand near your heart and we're going to do the heart sound. The heart is the center of the control. We call the Lord of the organs, and it's responsible for all the emotional that rises up in the body, and it's going to be jammed in the heart. So when we move the hand near the heart, and we're going to do the heart sound, 
and let go all the negative, all the emotional, all the trauma, all the negative hatred and hastiness. Down, down, down to the ground. Okay? And when you're resting, feel joy, love, unconditional love, happiness come to you. So inhale. Exhale with the heart sound, whole sound. Again, inhale. Exhale. Feel the negative emotional from the heart pushing down all the way down to your toes, to your finger, especially the left tips of your finger, left side of your finger on your left arm. Again, inhale. Up to your heart, hold it there for a while, smile to your heart, see any negative energy that you cannot be transformed, let it recycle down to the ground and the mother earth will take care of it and transform and give us better ha joy, happiness, compassion and unconditional love. Exhale. You can do two or three times until you feel you relax. The negative are released. Now we're going to start it to work with the abdominal. In the Taoism, for a thousand years, we discovered that the organs, especially in the in the abdominal where we can touch. We have small intestine, large intestine, we have liver under the ribcage, we have kidney below the intestine all the way to the back, we have the stomach, we have the pancreas on the um, a long organ from the right side to the left, and the spleen on the left hand side left hand side under the ribcage there and uh, bladder, sexual organ. In the Tao we believe that they all store by the year we grow up a lot of emotional, trauma, fear, phobia, uh, guilty, all store in this organ area. Every time we we go through the trauma it make more copy in the organs. And this trauma are connecting to the brain. The trauma connecting to the brain. So um, you need to delete both things. So when you press on the abdominal in a circle, we start on the navel, on the left hand side, small circle, and you press and find the pain part. The pain part, it can be because the blockages, the twist, the tangle and it causes all the problem in the abdominal. Now, when you press on the pain part, if you release them because the blood vessel, the aorta vena cava, the vein, the nervous system, the tendon, the fascia, the ligament, it can be respond to the food that making gas emotional, expand and contract like angry and fear, it will twist and make a knot in the organ. Now, emotional store here and very hard to release. If you only using a psychology in the mind, the physical manifest by the emotional and blockages, you cannot release. You have to be physically work on yourself and it's very, very powerful delete any bad experience, any trauma, 
any phobia, any heavy, guilty, emotional, hatred, angry. The eye movement, so you move the eye to the left and look the eye to the right. You can, and the very important part, you concentrate on where you have problem. Is the pain is manifest. Sometimes you press on the pain, you smile to the pain, and you start to move your eye left or right with the closing eye, left, right, left, right. You activate the left and right brain, and you activate the emotional, and it started to delete the emotional. And when you do for a while, and, the, and you hold the point, the, the most painful part, until the pain gone, or the trauma rises up, and you keep on moving your eye, it delete them, delete the fire, and until you cannot find the fire. So very important part, find a secure place, that means your heart. Think about your loved one, the support that they're giving you. Especially the heart and the Tantian is a place to be secure and you feel comfortable. And after you delete the program, restore back the good feeling inside your body. So we start on the left side of the navel, press right next to the navel, press down. And a lot of people will find tension because the aorta vinicava and the lymphatic duct. You press, if you have pain, hold for a moment. And if some kind of emotional rises up, you move your eye left, right, left, and right. In the Tao also believe this is also stop part of the guilty here. So breathe and smile to the pain part and move your eye left and right. Now sometimes when the emotion hard to reprogram or delete, you um, add up the tongue, move the tongue on the palate, left, and move the tongue to the right. Keep on smiling to the pain part until the pain part are released. Now sometimes you really feel a tangle and knot. At the moment that you should do is press and lightly move a little bit, shake a little bit, left and right, front and back, left and right until it's released. So you move to nearly below the navel and fine. In this practice, it's only one finger technique, the middle finger or the index finger or the um, ring finger, but mostly index and middle finger. Sometimes you can use thumb also. So we only use one finger, but the other finger are helping. Okay, so you press. You go to the next one. Find the tension, the knot. Oftentimes is the twist and tangle and blockages the circulation. More on the left side, you find the pulsing like the aorta. In the below the navel, uh, when you release, is a lot of energy go down to the lower part of the uh, organ light, spread out to the uh, intestine, down to the leg, and especially in the middle here are down to the sexual organ, sexual hormone. The circulation can block and can make the blood flow very really well to the sexual organ because the tangled, twisted, emotional, expand and contract they make a twist. So press it and processing it. Hold for a while and processing it. Move your eye left and right. Smile. Very important part is smile to the place that you feel pain. If anything recall, just let it come out. But keep on moving your eye and smiling to the pain parts because the pain part in that area, my connecting to your emotional, to a very trauma emotional, and it manifests as pain, a blockage, a tangle, a twist. And we call, I have 
um, rock in my stomach, spiral and press it. Continue moving along the, sometimes you don't have it, so now we come up to the right side, along the right side of the navel. Uh, that's very connecting to the kidney and the intestine and the vena cava as a return blood. So sometimes it can be very tension because the stress. Stress producing a lot of stress hormone like the adrenaline and, and the insulin is more very acid and creating more gas. Now the stress will manifest at very tension and tightness in your abdominal and that will be pulling your whole organ and, and the vein and artery are so tight. If we don't release the tension and the stress, the abdominal getting very very strong. This one is a healing rejuvenating, delete the program, and reinstall the better program of love, joy, happiness, appreciation into the organs. Press and processing it. Now when you come up to the more on the angle of the right side, and more toward the liver, gallbladder, so when you press it, just find the important part is find the tension, the tangle, the knot about in that area. Come up to the nearly in the middle uh, on the top of the navel. This one is a whole aorta vena cava and in the middle is the duct, we call the lymphatic duct. When we are tension and stress, this duct are very tight and raises up and blockages the whole lymphatic system flow. The lymphatic system is supposed to flow up, straight up, and go pour all the lymph, lymph fluid into the heart on the left side below the collarbone. So that area, a lot of people can be pain and stuck. So sometime in the morning, I like to releasing it, make sure this duct are flow. And the most important part, when you press on the top of the navel, and press down and you feel very painful or tightness or go all the way to the back that means you're still very stressful tension the lymphatic flow not flow very well because it's too tight pulling you need to press it down and just keep on holding and processing it and um, when you get it down, the whole day you are very peaceful, very calm, not very nervous, not very hastiness, not very impatient. And this causes all the high blood pressure, heart attack, all kind of problems. Press, feel the pulsing, and keep on processing it. Sometimes, you know, one page you maybe need to process them two, twice. So the processing the negative emotional, you move your eye left, right is one. Left, right is two. It's about 20 times each. And you rest. And you feel it's still pain and emotion still rises up. You move it again 20 times. Left, right one time. Left, right two times. Left, right three times. And um, if you can... When you rest, you can move 10 times, left, right 10 times to restore the uh, good emotional.
Sometimes, you know, I feel tight. I press from the navel all the way up towards the sternum, all the way until this. This is very, in the, in, my master told me this is very important in what with life and death. When these tendons are so tight, when this one is so tight, people are so stressful. And the aorta vena cava are pulling so tight, and the lymphatic duct are so high, and everything, everything is so tensions, it's just like it's going to break anytime. Press and hold, and processing it. Now you continue to make a bigger cycle, go around, press it. If there are no problem, no problem. When you press down, sometimes gas, uh, press up and you feel stuck in the chest, stuck in the heart. Just press it out. Sometimes when you feel the chest, the gas stuck somewhere, you move along to the area and lightly massage them. Like around the heart and the ribcage, it can be stuck, the gas there. Okay. And now uh, you continue spiral, press, hold, and processing, and spiral, and shake. Sometimes it's not much, you just massage, spiral, and just go on. Release the circulation. Re make, there's so much blood flow in the abdominal. And there's so many blockages now in our life. If you do every day, you really increasing the circulation in your abdominal. When the abdominal circulation well, every part of it is open well. So we get a bigger circle down to the bigger circle down below, and you're gonna feel it closer, closer to the sexual organ. You are releasing more blood vessel and the chi energy that's gonna flow to the sexual organ responsible for the uterus. Ori, testicle, prostate gland, all of them need all blood. And you continue massage back there to the right side, the small intestine, and the last intestine. Continue go on. And you can see this, there are tremendous blood vessels. Abdominal have so much big vein and artery, aorta, capillary, all around there. And uh, if we put our blood vessel together, it's one round around the world, 25 miles. That wrong, you know, 25,000 miles. And um, it's very long. And a lot is in the abdominal area because there's so much vital organ. Each organ has a very, very detailed. Now, when you massage, like this is the organ have all I'll have the we call the uh, limestone, the toxic, the waste material. By lightly massage like this, you break those heavy metal settlement in the organs, and the body started to easily take take care of it. Okay, especially if you have gas, if you do them, you might. <coughs> It might bail out, the gas might bail out. So you, the, the circle get bigger, and you can see and started to learn and aware more of the organs, more of the connection of the organs. You might find out that one side are more tight than the other side, and that's oftentimes we're using one side more or more tension, like the right brain more controlled to the left side. So um, if you're spiraling them, feel the tension, aware that what you have it under there. Now when you massage to the left side more above the navel, that is more into the kidney. And when you're coming down to the left side toward the middle, they're more in the intestine and, and last intestine. 
and all the blood vessels that spread out from the aorta vena cava. When you feel the place very pain, hold it. Move your eye and processing it. And if you feel any emotional rises up. So in the doubt, believe that in the upper part more connecting to a heart, like impatience, hastiness, hatred. The lower part more connecting to the um, sexual organ, like guilty. So when you press more, when your circle getting bigger and bigger until you find you near the pelvic area, there is a lot of sexual organ, the ori, the prostate gland. And that uh, a lot of ladies have a lot of guilty because the society and the religious put the guilty on women. And then when you come up to more on the on the right side, below the right side is more connecting with small intestine and large intestine. And the small and large intestine, in the Tao, we live that the small intestine and large intestine actually accumulate all the emotional. So we don't want this emotional uh, trauma, phobia stored in the organ. We need to reprogram it. We need to get rid of it. And we can store back good energy. So when you move up to the right side, it's more on the liver. Until when you get very close to the right lip case, that is very. So you circle around that, around, around the rib cage, you actually release a lot of toxic from the liver. And you make the liver better. This is one of the best ways to control cholesterol. Because when the liver out function and it, and it, it's going to grow fiber, it's going to grow different ligament and extra thing, you know, and causing a lot of trouble. So if you massage along the rib cage all the way, come up, and um, below the sternum is the responsible to the heart. So when you can release a lot of heat, impatience and hastiness from the heart, and you can continue to go down to the pancreas, to the stomach, along the left side of the ribcage, all the way down to the left side, that is the spleen and the lungs. The lung is be below that. And you circle around the hip bone down. The hip bone, on both sides hip bone, is all the big blood vessel that go down to the sexual organ. Nerve also go down to the sexual organ. The sigmoid column that are um, causing a lot of constipation is all on the left side along the hip bone. And you massage along the side all the way to the sexual organ and continue up to the right side of the hip bone. And that is the blood vessel that go on the, from the aorta splitting down and go on the, along the side to the sexual organ. And finally, you put your hand, cover the navel, smile. Feel good, feel love, feel joy, feel nice and warm, chi, peace inside you. Love, peace, appreciation, compassion, unconditional love inside you. So the Taoism said, if you take care of yourself in the morning, your body will take care of you the rest of the day. Especially if you can release the trapped energy, trapped gas, trapped emotional, reprogramming their organs and delete all the negative emotional out. It's just like a daily cleaning out. It's a very powerful practice. Feel nice, feel good.